Hey guys, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Alex and this is Stefan. What's up guys? And today is a special day because today is the first day in a long time that we have a product overview, first impression video for you guys. I know that a lot of you guys out there have missed that style of content and I personally have too. And Agreed. we figured what better way to come back than with the new Timber X. Well, kind of new, it's a couple months old. <laughs> um, but you guys know that we're huge fans of number one, bush planes, stool planes, but specifically the original Timber came out and we had a blast with that. Fantastic. I remember we touched the uh, wheel on top of the car. Yeah. So if you're not familiar with uh, Timber, Timber is a is Horizon Hobby or E-Flight's take on a stole performance plane. Um, and this one in particular is the Timber X, which in my opinion means it's extreme. It's actually the same fuselage with a bunch of different little tweaks to make it a little bit higher performance, 3D capable little tiny bush plane, which is a really, really unique concept. So hats off to you Horizon for just thinking outside the box. I yeah. think it's really cool. So it has bigger control surfaces. It does actually have the same fuselage. Also, so the wings can be interchanged between the original Timber, the new Turbo Timber, which was also just announced, right. and the Timber X. So if you are a Timber fanatic and you have all the Timbers, you can swap <laughs> parts between all your Timbers, which is all pretty the timbers. cool. What do you say we get in the air? Let's, uh, let's make it happen, dude. All right, right off the bat, I can tell you guys, and a lot of you guys already know that I am a landing gear guy. And what I mean by that is I enjoy operating my aircraft on the ground just as much as I do in the air. and. A lot of Horizons planes have really great landing gears. I will say that the Timberline is probably my favorite landing gear. It has the spring-loaded gear right there, and you can see it's really able to go over just about anything. <laughs> Tall grass, rough terrain, it's not gonna have any issues with that. Probably won't be able to get over that center block though. No, it's not a crawler. <laughs> Which, that'd be, a crawler plane would be cool. Dude, new idea. Drive on. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm gonna take it off. Let me get past my blind spot here with Jeremy. And you'll see right off the bat, it has tons of power. Here we go. Here you go. Oh, that was about half a second. You ever, so, wanted, you ever wanted to 3D your stole airplane? So this is the plane for you. This is how you can tell if it's, a, if it's decent at 3D or not, is if a guy like me can hover it. And while it's not pretty, I can hover it. And I can't say that about a lot of planes. That's um, quality. And just to be frank with you guys, this type of flying, 3D flying, is typically the opposite of what I personally enjoy. Um, but that doesn't mean it's bad, it's just everybody has their own their own taste. Yep. And this little Timber X is, you, right when you take it off, you're gonna notice that it is definitely designed for higher performance, higher energy maneuvers. It has very short wings with a wide wing cord, huge control surfaces. Now a lot of you may have noticed too that um, I'm running, <laughs> full wing ailerons right now. And basically what that means is it has ailerons out on the wingtips and it has flaps uh, with individual servos in the middle. And I have mixed them together using the uh, instructions in the manual to have full wing ailerons. So wow. in normal flight like this, the flaps are acting as ailerons in coordination with the actual ailerons. And then the cool thing is, is I can also pop my flaps down. Here's full flaps right here. Okay. And it just stops. It does, it does just stop. When I pop my flaps down like this, um, not only is it slowing the airplane down, but the flaps are actually still articulating with the ailerons. Yeah. And uh, it's the first time I've actually flown with actual flapperons uh, that aren't full wing flapperons, and it's honestly like pretty cool. Um, so I've been just kind of doing some lazy patterns here, just so Matt can keep it in frame. Um, but we'll see. Let's do some climbing here. It does have plenty of power. Now, we are running this on four cell. It's also a three cell capable though. Yes, it does have uh, three cell capability. Um, but what I did notice in the uh, manual, it does recommend that you actually change the prop for maximum three cell performance. So basically what I got from that is that it is definitely set up to be a four cell plane. I think it has the capability of three cell, but you can tell they kind of designed it around a four cell yeah, platform. Sure. Um, it also is sporting a 13 inch prop running off of a 900 kV motor, uh, which on four cell, man, it's got plenty and plenty of power. Plenty of power. Um, the roll rate with those full wing ailerons, as you can see right here, is fantastic. <laughs> that, that's, it's absurd, dude. And that's even going with the wind. Here we are into the wind now, and you can see how fast that roll rate is. Oh man. It just whips it around. And even in, the more that you give it throttle, the more that you blast that prop over the control surfaces, the more authority that it has. Right. Same thing with the rudder. It has tons of rudder 
capability. Um, you can do knife edges with ease. <laughs> with ease. As I uh, wobble it all around like that. But that's, that's about as good as I can do with a knife edge. <laughs> oh, um, which is really cool. And Horizon even claims themselves that this isn't supposed to be like the best 3D plane on the market. Um, it is just a highly capable all around 3D plane with a little dash of stole performance and looks into it, which is right. really, really cool. I like the, the unique approach that they had. One of the other things that you notice right off the bat when you take it off into the air, especially compared to the other timber, is this is sporting a more symmetrical airfoil yeah. versus a, a, a you know traditional airfoil on a normal stole plane. And basically what that means is that the plane will fly just about the same right side up as it does upside down. So you can fly it with these upside ah. upside down. That's awesome. With with little to no uh, up on your elevator. Wow. Which is great for guys like me who are a little bit inexperienced when it comes to performance flying. You can really practice your patterns upside down without having to worry too much about crashing it or dumb thumbing it. Yeah, you you're doing great, man. It's it's not bad. On the box, it does say that this is for intermediate flyers. Um, but that being said, I think that if you've had a plane or two and you have a, you know, a, a couple dozen flight hours under your belt, I think that uh, I think that you could have a good experience with this as a, you know, late beginner to intermediate, um, especially depending on how you program it. Now, programming it, like I said earlier, I mix these full aileron flaps uh, or full wing ailerons, I should say. Um, and I was having a little trouble. And what I actually learned is make sure you read the instructions um, because basically, uh, you need to rewire the receiver and plug in the flaps a little bit differently if you do want to utilize the full wing ailerons, which most people who buy this probably would. So the price point on this thing is coming in at, I believe, 239 or 249. I think I got it for 239 from our local hobby shop. And honestly, this is the bind and fly one, so it comes with the receiver. And setting it up out of the box, the unboxing was great. Um, went together pretty easy, as, as per usual with these E-Flight planes. Um, probably about 45 minutes. Um, I am a little bit slower than most people, <laughs> but uh, it, it all clicks together. The fit and finish is amazing as per usual. No surprise there. Um, but overall for the price point, I mean, you're getting a really solid performing little plane. All right, let me see here. Let's pop it up into a hover again. Yeah. Let's see, let's see your 3D hover skills, brother. I'm not doing it close to the ground. I'm not that good. It's a good idea. But I mean, honestly, okay. A lot of times it just hovers itself. And <laughs> not all the time. You do have to see, I'm starting to lose a little bit. I got sweat in my eye like Maverick. I can't see. Uh, just kidding. I'm not sweating. I don't know what's going on. Let's see how it uh, kind of like high alphas, right? Yeah. Again, I'm not a 3D pilot, but let's just put it through its paces a little bit. So you can see it does slow down quite a bit. It kind of sits up. Now it does get a little rocky there. I can yeah. feel it wanting to rock any kind of minimal input on the rudder right there and it wants to keel over. Now, speaking of rudder authority, you can see right here, popping the flaps up, going straight up. Watch this rudder authority. <laughs> oh yeah. Straight dude. around, especially, Extreme. especially when you have the prop blast. Yeah. Uh, going over the control surface, like I said, easier. The rudder has a ton of authority. Uh, makes, I like that actually, yeah. in a plane. It does really give you the confidence to try some of these tricks. Yep. And then not to mention the power with that huge 900 kV motor. Um, you have that confidence that even if you get into a squirrely situation, you're still gonna be able to pull out of it. Yeah, it makes sense. All right, now like I said earlier, I don't think this is typically recommended for beginners, um, but I'd say you're an intermediate pilot, Stefan. What do you say, you wanna give it a shot? I feel like I could uh, take a crack at it. <laughs> All right, so I uh, actually programmed some dual rates in here. So right now you're flying on 50% aileron. So get a feel for it a little oh, bit. Oh wow. Okay, yeah, it's nice and dusty. Awesome. Can you feel uh, a little bit different flight characteristics with that symmetrical wing? Feel how it's kind of yeah. like... Um, it's pretty smooth. It's very smooth, yeah. There's just, I can't really put it into words, but just there is a difference in feel to a symmetrical wing versus a traditional airfoil. Speaking of flying this plane as a beginner, the Timber X does have the AS3X technology, which is basically just a gyro system that helps compensate for a turbulent wind. Um, and it also has safe select. And if you guys aren't familiar with that, it's an excellent functionality for beginners uh, to do things like auto level and also bank angle limits. So if you don't want to roll your plane to start out, you can make it so it only banks a certain amount. There you go here. I'll That's flip, crazy. I'll flip dude. you into full rates here. So here's 100% ailerons and everything now. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh wow. 
<laughs> that, dude, that's difference. there. Dude, well, I'm, I'm not even like... You don't have to touch it. You like look at the ailerons. I'm going to go out there they... a little bit and I'm going to just do a little bit of a... Oh, jeez, dude. With these. Isn't Are that you cool? kidding me right now? Isn't that fun? Dude, that's legit. Dude, this is a pretty cool plane. Oh, you like you like it? I like it. You're, now, you're I would great. say that uh, it's got a little bit more uh, of like performance yeah. um, than I'm used to. Yeah. And it's a little bit, I would say a little bit trickier to fly than like a Valiant, like you're talking oh, about. Oh, for sure, a Valiant is um, real easy. Yeah, you can fly that thing all day. The, I mean, the the response is crazy on, yeah. the, on the control services are are ridiculous. Okay, all right, I'm gonna take the controls back here. Yep, go ahead. And uh, let's put. Speaking of landing, let's put her in for a couple approaches here, and I'm gonna kick on full flaps. Nice, high performance approach here. See if I can bleed yeah, off that's all that coming speed. Coming in fast. Oh, she don't care, dude. <laughs> that was a fast landing. Super. Uh, fast. Let's see. Let's see if I can slow it down here. We'll do one more. That, that's kind of what I've noticed is that like when I was flying it, like you said, carrying a bit more throttle. Yeah, you have to keep- At least more than I'm used to. Yeah, it's got those short coupled wings, so it doesn't have the typical glide slope like the bigger timber does. Right. All right, so I'm gonna bring it in as slow as I can here and see if I can get a nice short one. That was a little close to our camera, man. That was, Sorry about that, That Jeremy. was about as close as you should get. All right, I need to get one more good one. We need to end it on a good note, right? <laughs> keep it away from Jeremy this time. Yeah. That's good. Oh, nice, dude. It lands like a bush plane, it, it really does. does. It does. And still flying, uh, bush pilots, they'll often say that their landings aren't really landings, they're more of an arrival. Yeah. Because you're flying it right on the tip of that stall, and right at the last minute you pull the power and they put it down to get the shortest rollout possible. That's cool. So, Timber X, I'd say it's, it's definitely a, a great plane, especially if you have an interest in learning or, or just flying performance or 3D yep. aerobatics. If you're more into uh, scale or even like uh, scale flying or stole or bush flying, yeah. check out the original timber. You might still be able to get some of those, but also they just announced the new turbo timber, which turbo. looks pretty cool. We're gonna put links to all of those down below. Be sure to check them out. That actually helps us out a ton. And uh, thank you guys for watching. We're gonna be doing a lot more tech and product reviews like this. Also, make sure you subscribe to this tech channel. As you didn't notice, this isn't our normal flight test channel. We started yep. a new channel dedicated towards tech and products like this so we can share our experiences with you guys and help you make the best decision possible when you're deciding how to get into the hobby. So let us know if there's any products that you'd like to see us cover down in the comments below and we'll see you guys next time.